In this morning's Breakfast Bible Bites, we will get a glimpse into the fate of those who seek to annihilate Israel prophetically. Psalm 53, 4 is a warning to those who still conspire against Israel. Psalm 53, 4 reads, Have the workers of wickedness no knowledge who eat up my people as though they were bred and have not called upon God? Will the wicked evildoers never learn? They treat my people as if they were a disposable commodity. Praying to God, no, no, no thoughts about their creator ever cross their minds. God through David expresses a degree of frustration. Do they not realize that their actions will be judged? Is there nothing that restrains them? Can they not see that their sins are and persecutions will in the end come back to bite them? Indeed, they are their own worst enemies. God seems to be perplexed by their inability to realize that he will not allow them to devour his people with impunity. He is also grieved by the insane jealousy of the natural mind, for it is envious of those who have received forgiveness and salvation, yet it will not come and pray and seek mercy itself. Psalm 53, 5, there, there they were in great fear where no fear had been. For God scattered the bones of him who encamped against you. You put them to shame because God had rejected them. Contextually, it doesn't seem unreasonable to apply this passage as relevant to a period within the tribulation or at the end of the tribulation. We read back in Psalm 44, 6 through 7, For I will not trust in my bow, nor will my sword save me. But you have saved us from our adversaries, and you have put to shame those who hate us. Israel in the coming days may be forced to employ weapons of warfare to defend against those who desire to annihilate her, as she did in the Six-Day War, the Arab War, in 1967. But in the Great War, at the end of the Great Tribulation, it will be not be those weapons that yield the victory. It will be God, their Savior, who will put to shame her adversaries. It will serve us well to read the prophecy about those inspired to gather in their foolish attempt to destroy Israel. We read in Ezekiel 38, 10 through 23, This is what the Lord God says, On that day thoughts will arise in your mind, and you will devise an evil plan. You will say, I will go up against the land of open villages. I will come against a tranquil people who are living securely, all of them living without walls and without bars or gates in order to seize spoil and carry off plunder, to turn your hand against ruins now inhabited and against a people gathered from the nations who, are, who have been acquiring cattle and possessions and who live at the center of the world. Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish, with all the rulers will ask you, have you come to see spoil? Have you assembled your hordes to carry off plunder, to make off with silver and gold, to take cattle and possessions to seize great spoil? Therefore, prophesy, son of man, and say to Gog, this is what the Lord God says, on the, that day when my people, Israel, are dwelling securely, will you not know this? And come from your place in the remotest parts of the north, you and many people with you who are all riding horses, a mighty horde, a huge army. You will advance against my people Israel like a cloud covering the land. It will happen in the last days. Gog, I will bring you against my land so that the nations may know me and when I show myself holy through you in their sight. This is what the Lord God says. Are you the one I spoke about in former times through my servants, the prophets of Israel, who for years prophesied in those times that I would bring you against them? Now on that day, the day when God comes against the land of Israel, this is the declaration of the Lord. My wrath will flare up. I will swear in my zeal and fiery rage. On that day, there will be a great earthquake in the land of Israel. The fish of the sea and the birds of the sky, the animals in the field, every creature that crawls on the ground and every human being on the face of the earth will tremble before me. The mountains will be thrown down, the cliffs will collapse, and every wall will fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against him on all my mountains. The declaration This is the declaration of the Lord God. And every man's sword will be against his brother. 
I will execute judgment on him with plague and bloodshed. I will pour out torrential rain, hailstones, fire, and brimstone on him, as well as his troops and the many people who are with him. I will display my greatness and holiness and will reveal myself in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. This deliverance will be humbling for the nation of Israel. And as a nation, together they will fear the Lord where no fear was, renewing their covenant with Jehovah. 